I talk about sleep deprivation a lot when I'm talking about people being scammed. So the context of what I'm talking about usually is that scammers will, and this is especially true in a romance scam, they will create a false situation. They'll lie, in other words, and create this false idea in the person being scammed that the scammer is unable to call at daytime hours for some reason that they lie about. They have to call in the middle of the night. And what this does to the targeted person is that it creates gradual sleep dep deprivation. So the longer this goes on, so you can see how this may easily happen in a romance scam, night after night, you're spending time on the phone instead of sleeping, talking to this person, they keep you on the phone perhaps, and gradually over time, the sleep deprivation gets to a point where your cognitive abilities are not what they usually are. You're foggy, you're not making decisions like you normally would, and so scammers use this, they use how our bodies naturally work to gain an advantage over a person. And when you combine this with other manipulation tactics, unfortunately, scammers are very good at what they do, and this is something that they easily succeed at. So if you're in a situation where the person that you're becoming involved with needs to talk, supposedly needs to talk uh, during the middle of your night when you need to be sleeping, that is a warning sign for you. There's, you should be cautious, right? And so think about the entire situation as a whole and are there other warning signs that this could be a scam? And just another little tidbit that has to do with sleep deprivation is that sometimes you may always receive calls in the morning when you would be waking up. So along with sleep deprivation, causing our cognitive abilities to not be quite what they usually are. When you first wake up and you haven't gotten going for the day, you're maybe watching the news on TV, um, you're still sleepy, you're still groggy. You, your cognitive abilities are not quite there yet. And this isn't true for everyone and I know that, but it is true for some of us. And if that's the way that the scammer is using your body against you again, then take that warning sign and think about some other aspects of the situation. And just keep in mind that this, if you're supporting someone who's been scammed, this is one of the ways that scammers manipulate the situation to get this person's money. Thanks for listening.